for a very, 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 very long time. I put creatine in my in my coffee. Mm-hmm. I, I put everything in my coffee, but I'm not sure that I'm supposed to be doing that. Yes, yeah, so I'm one of the rare people, and most people argue against me. I don't do it either. The pharmacokinetics of creatine and uh, caffeine do not oppose each other. But from a cellular perspective, they certainly do. Caffeine likes to release calcium, but creatine likes to take it in. And some really good research out of Europe have shown that they, the two molecules oppose each other from a muscle relaxation time. But the dose of caffeine seems to be the most important factor. If the dose is over 250 milligrams or even higher, that's when it seems to have the interference effect. If the dose is lower, it doesn't seem to have an interference effect. So the average large black coffee from Starbucks might be three, 400 milligrams of caffeine. So if you were to put your scoop of creatine in there and sip on it for hours, you probably won't notice an interference effect in a few few times. But if you did that every day for months, you might notice a blunting effect. I never combine the two. I always have coffee early in the morning. I love coffee. And then I wait at least two hours before I take my first thing of creatine in anticipation of those cellular interference. 